This is a HeadGum Podcast. Oh, right. shit. It's time Michelle, to get down, ladies. Michelle's gone. It's time to get down. Get down, ladies. It's time to get down, ladies. It's time to get down. <laughs> it's time to get That's down. my new favorite uh, catchphrase. We should just change the name of the pod to Time to Get Down, ladies. With That's Carl what the show Lamar. will be called. Once, once we finish this, once we finish, we, we're yeah. announcing it right now. Once we finish Gossip, Gossip Girl in, in 20 years, we yeah. <laughs> will be calling this show, It's Time to Get Down, ladies. And we'll figure out the format. But for now, the yeah. show is just basically that it's time to get down, ladies. Yeah, yeah. It'll be like time to get down, ladies, with Carl Lamar, and we and all of our no men are allowed to listen to the podcast. <laughs> no men are allowed us. to listen to the podcast. <laughs> it's just us talking to the ladies. Uh, what's up, Lamar? Man, uh, not much. Uh, so I just got back. Was that in Atlanta last time we talked? I, yeah, yeah, I went we, to Atlanta. Done a, I think we've done an episode since we've. Been. We did. Oh yeah. <laughs> Uh man, life is a blur. I just I'm just life trying to get a, a job. Strike is life strike is, is over, and I can't get a job. So man, I pay my taxes. To... <laughs> Listen, speaking of the strike, I did I didn't realize how bad the strike had affected me until I just paid my taxes. I guess I did the late pay, the October pay. Yeah, and he just took that money out, and I was like, bro, this shit is. I, I, it's the same guy, that same tax guy you be going to. Yeah, and, and I check all yeah. the paperwork, and everything is legit. It's just, bro, when y'all be listen, this is gonna sound crazy. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say something right now that I don't mean. First of all, let me tell y'all, I am not a rich man. Y'all are looking at my apartment. You see this old ass heater here? I got right here. <laughs> oh yeah, anyone who has that kind of heater, heater is not rich. I got that. I'm same not rich. Bar. I have the background. I, I gotta yeah. show y'all about. Yeah, we both got those type of heaters. So I'm these heaters have been in these apartments since the fifties. These heaters have been in this apartment since the 50s. And we don't, it don't get super cold here in LA. So I probably don't turn this heater on till like, like mid, no, mid December, basically. And when I start this motherfucker up, it's, it smokes up the whole place. And uh, I know. I, that's so funny and, we talk about it. I, I turned it on yesterday for the first time. I was like, and I was like, I, I got a little chilly last night. A little chilly, just a little chilly. But uh, I turned it on and it was just smelling like, it just smelt like I was in like a, a furnace. <laughs> I like, yeah, I was like, "Oh shit, uh, this is." I, I can't. I'm not sure if I should be breathing this shit. But <laughs> these type, toasty. these type of heaters, and this Amazon Basics lamp is the sign of a non-rich person. But due to some fortunate events in my life, I have been placed into a tax bracket <laughs> that has put me in a place where I am taxed heavily. And I don't get mm-hmm. my taxes taken out of my checks. Everything is is taken out at the end of the year when I do my taxes. And uh, that shit is a lot, man. Like it made me. I'm gonna yeah. have to start selling my body. That yeah, shit was I a mean, lot. Why did you pay in it right now? You pay him quarterly or something? I guess That's so early. No, no, no. This is from this account. year. This is from this is from April. Listen, here's the deal oh. about trust about trusting these cats. I'm not gonna trust no cat with my money. Like I should have went to school yeah. to do taxes. <laughs> I don't trust no cats, no dogs, no, no mice, dogs, no, ra- no freaky, rabbits, no frogs. frogs. But I, uh, I just feel like uh, are you saying you just now paying your taxes from this I got year, an extension. from last year, it, from 2020, yeah, 2022. Uh, wow. Yeah, you get until you get until yeah. October. Like that's like the last. That's like the cutoff. Damn. Hold on. Damn, Wait, I got to pull up. Got, we got some, uh, God bless we got this some country. spots. God bless this country. God I'll, bless the I'll, USA. I'll pay whatever taxes, whatever taxes you need to keep this country functioning. You know what I mean? Shout out to all the people out there who pay their taxes. You know what I mean? Shout out to the people that pay their taxes that 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 pay me as a police officer. <laughs> you can say, when I, when, I, when I pull you over, you can say, I pay your salary, buddy. I want to talk to you about something. I want to talk to you about... This 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 changing of the tide when it comes to celebrity. Uh huh. Let's talk what do you about think, it. Let's get into it. What do you think of? So, this is a discussion I was just having with a friend because she posted a video of this girl talking about celebrities and how the, the, there's a, there's gonna be there's gonna come a time where we're gonna stop worshiping these celebrities. There's been a lot of celebrity worship going on as of recent. Yeah. You know, you got the Will and Jada, Will and Jada stuff. You got Taylor the, uh, Swift, Taylor Swift, like Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey stuff, and you got everything. 
And people say that they don't care, but they comment that they don't care every time the video pops up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so of course they care. And I follow so, I follow those pages. Oh my my uh my air freshener just went off. Another sign of not a rich person. A like Glade uh blow every thirty five minute air freshener. Uh but <laughs> neither here nor there. It, like the the per- you have the perfect background. I can't tell how much money you make because you have the like really simple lamp <laughs> and then like ha- just a half of the TV that I can't tell how big it is and then uh and then the heater. So it's yeah. like a good it looked like little, it's like a good blue collar background. Little PS five right there. Uh, is that a video game? Is that a baseball game? Baseball yeah, video game? I'm playing MLB. Here's what I gotta say about celebrity. First of all, I think people keep acting like I think people think it's a hot take when we say when someone says we worship celebrity. This has something that's been going on since like uh the beginning of time. Like people, since Shakespeare. Yeah, like it's not like uh like even when like like say I lived in like um uh like uh what do you call it like Tokyo or something back mm-hmm. in the day in, in the old days when Rome was doing their thing like we knew about Caesar like up in Tokyo we knew what Caesar was doing we heard yeah. about Caesar we was always and like Napoleon all those guys I mean we was more worried about our own because we were in danger of these cats but I think it was like we knew who they was dating remember uh you ever see that movie Troy. Remember that movie no. Troy, Brad Pitt, back in the day, Helen no. and Troy. Man, that whole movie is basically Will, Jada, Tupac yeah. situation. It's basically like you had the badass, uh, cool king or whatever that was super famous, and he took he took the girl from the other guy, and then the other guy decided to like come back and win his win back her her love or whatever, and they started a whole last war from Greece. It was Greece versus Rome, and. Uh, Pretty, pretty uh, salacious, if you ask me. Pretty fucking pretty salacious. salacious. Pretty fucking salacious. We just couldn't, we just couldn't comment about it. Yeah. But there's a book about it, and there's lots of books about it, and that was our form of tweeting and stuff, was writing books about the shit. That shit is it's, it's not new. This thing is not new. Now, I have a yeah. friend who tried to editorialize it by adding in some- Who is this? Yeah, I'm not going to say her name. But uh, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 she editorial by, by basically making it like astrology based, like being like, oh, we're uh-huh. moving out of this and we're going to go into this. And uh, this zone is where the last time this happened was during the French Revolution and it was the, the rich <laughs> and let him eat cake and all that type of stuff. And I'm like, yeah, I yeah. get that. I understand that. I'm not going to yuck. Uh-huh. I'm not going to yuck your yum on that. But to me, it just boils down to we keep talking about the celebrity thing. But are you noticing that like Internet celebrity, like these Gen Z kids? They worship internet people. I saw something today where this boy, uh, this boy who's on a TV show, liked a post by like, Mm -hmm. uh, it was like a dumb, dumb, like misogynistic meme about Mm -hmm. like (laughs) my woman, when me, when I see a woman who's unvaxxed and wants to be a mother. And I go, it was, it wasn't, it wasn't (laughs) funny at all. Like it was some real (laughs) stupid shit. And this boy from a TV show who a bunch of girls love liked, just liked the post. Oh, like uh-huh. they they looked at they looked in the likes of that post and saw his profile pop up. Yeah, and then they just all like unfollow him and everything. And I just go, <sighs> like I get oh, it. Oh, so they're all, they're mad at him because he liked that post. Because yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. And gotcha. and then that just kind of turned my algorithm into this whole like celebrity thing, like people talking uh-huh. shit about celebrities. And I'm like, you do realize when you turn on your TikTok to mm-hmm. uh, when you turn on that TikTok. To be in front of that camera and that make that video go viral and and get all these comments and like yeah. and subscribe and share and comment below what you think about what I'm saying, you do realize that you're turning yourself into a celebrity now. And yeah. also, maybe we just haven't reached the level of fame that when we start going to the Illuminati parties yet. But <laughs> this shit is like, I'm just a regular fucking dude who happens to... Have a yeah. pr- who happens to provide a service that people enjoy enough for me to share it with the masses. And I mean, yeah. So, what's your question? Like, are you wondering what how you should feel about people? Yeah, no. I'm so I guess I guess I didn't have a question. I guess I just wanted to discuss mm-hmm. it with you. I guess it was more like, uh, um, like this whole thing is like ironic to me. Like how people are, because people mm-hmm. are really going in like this. See, this is why celebrity worship is bad. And they go, well, yeah, celebrity worship is bad. But you yeah. commenting on celebrity worship is just 
is just as bad. Oh, right, right. Yeah. I think like, you know, I think people are hypocrites. I think uh, if there's one, I mean, this is the perfect conversation to have on, on this podcast because it's about Gossip Girl. Yeah. Which is like, uh, literally the entire theme of Gossip Girl is like about these people who everyone says they hate. But there's like a character who's like, you know, oh, it happens all the time in the show where it's like this person who's from the outside and he says, I don't want to be a part of that world. But mm-hmm. deep down, they want to be a part of that world. And I, I think like, the, I think I think it's like it's the seven deadly sins. Jealousy and envy are the most common ones. And I know it's real because I felt it. And no one wants to be honest about the way they feel about celebrity and, and they, the fact that they want their life. Now. Yeah. With the access to people and the access to the internet, it's like now it's like the, it is a double edged sword because now you have access to these people and you get to see that they're not as some people aren't as intelligent or as mysterious as, you know, maybe back in the day that like, you know, when Tom, uh, Tom Cruise or somebody or Brad Pitt, whoever was famous when we were growing up, famous people, I just didn't know mm-hmm. what. Like, I didn't know what they ate, you know? It's not just the internet. It's like, you, you go, I mean, you can go on YouTube and see, I can watch, like, what Kumail Nagiani like, eats in his fid, fridge or whatever, like, his yeah. workout routine. And it's like, like, it's like, in my mind, I'm like, why do I give a shit what, you know, I, I like him, he's a good guy, so I won't use him as an example. But there's certain people you see, um, you, you see, like, this is, my, this is what I eat every day. Or, like, Chris Pratt, like, I'm like, this is what Chris Pratt eats. So I'm watching it. And, and I, this is me being honest, like an honest human. I'm not too cool to say, oh, I don't care about celebrity. I love celebrity. I want to be famous. So let's just put that out there. But mm-hmm. um, I'm watching it and I'm like, oh, so he eats, uh, he eats like uh, Doritos like once, once a week. I'll, I'll just keep my Dorito take once a week then. Only responsibility I got is to myself, to my family, to my close friends and loved ones. And the other, only other responsibility I have outside of that group is to be kind to everybody I encounter. Now, kindness mm. is is different. You're not going to take advantage of my kindness. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I just saw a video of Paul George and Kawhi pulling up to a restaurant. And Paul George is ignoring the, the paparazzi. And people in the comments was like, man, it's fucked up. Why he ain't talking to them? Why he ain't just talking to his fans? Like, the fans that pay for his lavish lifestyle. The fans that, that sponsor his lavish lifestyle. And I go, oh, well, not that's, that's indirectly they may have a part mm-hmm. in that. But that's not who signs his checks. Like, yeah. that's number one. Number two, these are paparazzi. These are not fans. These are people who have one goal. And that goal is to get pictures of these people and bother them. That's what they are. That's number one. The entitlement of other people being like, man, he should. Like, that's what that's the life you sign up for. If you mm-hmm. take, if you, if you sign up to be famous, if you sign up to be a celebrity, since since Paul George is good at basketball, that means the life he is signed up for is to be let people bother him. Yeah, man. Yeah. You got, oh, that, and that's, this this brings up another point. I think the mm-hmm. internet is is really is making people think that we can do anything and everything we want. So I saw a video of a dude mm-hmm. who ran on a, on a soccer field, and one of the security guards laid his ass out, put that motherfucking wood on him, laid him out. <laughs> Like he yeah. was on the ground, he was on the ground hurting, and the security guard, yeah. Was like, hell yeah! And everybody in the comments is like, "That's fucked up what that security guard did. That's fucked up. Yeah. Why he do that? He should be, he should be sued, and he should lose his job, and he should." And I'm like, "Right, that dude ran onto the field that he was not supposed to be on. Why yeah. are you not calling him out for that?" And then the people that were calling him out were doing the. There, there's there's good people on both sides. Shit. <laughs> Bad people on both sides Good talking people. about some on both sides. Yeah, <laughs> talking about they were they were doing the shit talking about. Uh, yeah, that that dude shouldn't have ran on the field, but the security guard definitely mm-hmm. shouldn't have hit him like that. He shouldn't have almost broke that guy's neck because he ran on the field. It's like, why not? Can we? Yeah, it, it, it is. It is the guy shouldn't have ran on the field. That's full stop. There is nothing uh-huh. after that. The internet is teaching yeah. us that there are no consequences to actions because everybody's like, oh, man, it's a prank. It's a joke. It's a prank. It's a joke. Yeah. No, man, there are consequences to actions. I got pulled over by the cops last night because I was For driving real? too fast. Yes. Uh-oh. What happened? They let me go. Bro. It's actually, a, it's actually a, a, a pleasant cop experience. <laughs> I so, know that the last one was pleasant too. Hmm, maybe they aren't so bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I, I don't want to. I don't want to say that because I what if the, the cop was like, he was like, huh? so uh, what if the cop 
said, roll the window down. He was like, time to get down, ladies. <laughs> ladies, <laughs> time, to get, time down. to get down. I love your work, brother. <laughs> love you. <laughs> and then, um, I, didn't, and then I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't talk to him. So he goes, wow, celebrity. Never meet your hero. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. It's like, I was literally going to take my shirt off. Like, I, what, like he literally was referencing the podcast. Yeah, in the, and mm-hmm. he's like, I'm referencing the podcast. And he had nothing to say to me. And I let him go. I mean, look, here's, I, I think I think both things are true, though. I think I think, yeah, I think that is it does come with being famous and it's going to be I don't think we can control that, but we don't have to like it. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, yeah, we there's don't people have to like who, it. Number uh, one. There's people who I know who are just like they do a good job of seeing of being like kind of out of the spotlight, you know, yeah. just like in their own space. But I mean, I'm sure there's some stuff. Sometimes you just can't escape that shit. Yeah, but uh, here's what I, I what I wanted to say about my about my cop experience last night because it was actually a pretty funny story. So I went to dinner with the fellas last night, and uh, the restaurant was closing, and it was like uh-huh. as soon as we walked out the door, my stomach said, "Bam, bam, 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 ski, yeah." My stomach said, "Ski," and uh. I was like, I gotta get home. <laughs> I gotta get home. And Phil, and Phil was like, uh, "What you about to get into? Can I get a ride with you?" Because Phil Ubered to the restaurant. Yeah. Was like, Phil ain't gonna hold you. I live like ten minutes away from here. I gotta get home. I gotta. <laughs> I gotta. I gotta sit on my. A king has to sit on his throne. He's like, you know, I'm a king. You're a king, and this king needs yeah. to get on his throne. <laughs> yeah. And uh, <laughs> I need you. I was like, you, you, you know that I'm always down for the kick it. You know that I'm always down to get. I know. I was wondering where y'all were. I, I, I was wondering if y'all went out. I was. I, I was, had I was to hit the homies. crib. I had to hit the crib. <laughs> like, uh, uh, what y'all eat? What you? Crib. What you eat? That made, did it was it was it what you ate or it was just like. It, it just had to be what stomach. I ate. It was Morton, Morton Steakhouse. They had that lobster mac and cheese. They had them potatoes all gratin. I think it was just a lot of cheese. Gratin. <laughs> oh, he got the that, potatoes gratin. Yeah. <laughs> with, with that big ass steak. And then we had like four martinis. And like, yeah. it was just like, oh it was a, a river runs through it. You know what I'm saying? And so yeah. I, I definitely was like, I got to get to the crib. And so I'm driving mm. fast as hell. I'm driving fast as hell. Oh, man. And, Tell and, me and you told the cop that. <laughs> here's what's scary. Mm-hmm. I didn't have my wallet on me. Oh wow! Like I, just wallet, in general. Yeah, and I, I didn't have my wallet on me. Luckily, uh, you know, we got Apple Pay and everything now. But you know me, I don't, mm-hmm. I don't forget stuff like that. It mm-hmm. fell out of my pants when I, when I was like getting dressed, and it was already mm-hmm. in my pants. It fell out, so it was just on my, it was just on my, on my uh, floor at of the my house. house, right? And uh, but I didn't know, I didn't know until I got there. Yeah, and the check was taken care of, and we just, mm-hmm. you know, Venmo. And so mm-hmm. I'm driving. I fly <laughs> by this cop. <laughs> and then I was like, fuck. That cop saw me. And then he oh, comes yeah. up and he follows me. And he he mm-hmm. like is far away from me. That motherfucker hits yeah. a U. I'd make a little uh, left Whenever turn. you see that U, it's so yeah, funny I'm when like, you're going like, fast you and you this. see them. You're like, fuck. <laughs> but dude, I was so afraid because I didn't have my wallet on me. And I was driving. I knew I was driving fast. I was like, fuck, man. Fuck. Yeah. And so he, I get to a stoplight and mm-hmm. he pulls up on the side of me on the stoplight, shines the light in the window. Really? I let the window wow. down. I go, what's up, man? And he's like, hey, boss, can you slow down for me? And I go, <laughs> for sure, man. He goes, thanks. And then he that pulls was up, it? He pulls up. That oh, was it. <laughs> wow. I was like, man, man the Lord, oh, the, God, the Lord the is my shepherd. <laughs> God has blessed me because, have, boy, let me, when I tell you my stomach was doing the fucking drum solo, from goddamn, I can feel it calling in the air tonight. Doom, 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 doom. So you got home, you let it out. I got, I got home, and a king sat on his throne. And uh, oh my god, that's amazing. That, was, that, was, that, was a good that time. is an amazing good story. I was thinking about that yesterday, the other day, because I was driving really fast, and I drove, and a cop was on the other side of me, and I was like, mm-hmm. I was hitting sport, just going, you know, and I was like, fuck, he's gonna stop me, but he just kept going, and it made me wonder. Like the difference between a cop who's like just on the driving around, you know, versus like the ones who are actually their job is to catch people speeding. Like, I almost wonder if he's just like, I don't really like he don't have no record how fast you're going. Like, he's just like, I really can't do nothing about this. I'm just going to check this nigga real quick or something. Yeah, yeah. I feel like I've never really been stopped by a cop who like every time I've been stopped for speeding, it's because they were doing the radar thing. Like, oh, they had the radar. Yeah, no. 
Yeah. I've been stopped. I've been stopped for speeding, but both times they let me go because I think they didn't have a radar. They just like they was like driving opposite directions. Like, wait a minute, yeah. that motherfucker going fast. Let me turn around and, and him. You and know why that happens? Is because when I was in the hospital, I and I thought I was gonna die. I like prayed basically that like Carl, you'll never get pulled over, <laughs> arrested, wow. trouble by the police. <laughs> and yeah. uh, so I, I, as long as I, but I the only, but the the problem with that is I can never date this one person ever again. So yeah, <laughs> she <laughs> she uh, she that she doesn't know why I can't Oprah date her. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> she always calls me like, "What is the problem, or why can't we be together?" And I was like, "You don't understand. I can't tell you." you know, uh, I, right, I got a spot for your ass. I got a spot okay. for your ass. You I had a big one, right? You said you I had one about, that, and it, it, you were yeah, like, "You had." You said you had one, and then you were like, "Never mind." Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> well, is that uh, that one or is that different? Yeah, that's that one. That's that one. It's still okay. technically a spot. Rochelle, can you come in here for a second, please? Uh, are you in the bathroom? <laughs> she's like all this. She's like a queen has to be on her throne. Her throne. Rochelle was uh, in the bathroom. Rochelle, yeah, were you I on? Mean, a, you in the bathroom doing it again, taking a shit, <laughs> getting the book. She, like Carl was talking about all that shit. You were like, you're like, man, shit, making my stomach turn. <laughs> um, I tell you all what, right, man, so he, he, we be shitting all of us. We be shitting. <laughs> Uh, every single goddamn one of us. <laughs> every single person. Every single person. This is what, one thing about celebrity, uh, about celebrity worship, is that every single person has shit that comes out of their ass. Okay. Yeah. It, all the some same. of them don't stink though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I. Uh, 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 yeah. Tell me about this one. So this is one you text us. All right, Gossip Royalty, Carl went crazy this weekend. He was like, he texted us like, spotted, oh my God. And then, then text, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> and then we we're all like, what happened? And then that, and so, it was nothing. <laughs> I'm finna tell you why. I'm finna tell y'all asses why. So, I am having uh, lunch, like a breakfast a breakfast meeting with a mm -hmm. with a, a producer. Because, you know, we trying to get back in. It's time to get down, ladies. And so, we, yeah. we out here. So we at the the Clark Street Diner, which used to be Cafe One Hundred One. Oh yeah, over there by used to be. <laughs> and this cat walks in. This cat walks in, and I'm like, no fucking way, no way. And they're looking at me. They're like, what, what? And I saw. So I look at the girl that I'm with. Uh, one of the producers. I go, did you watch? Did you watch Gossip Girl? Mm -hmm. And I, I keep looking at him. I'm like, something's off. Something's off. Like. Yeah. Did he get plastic surgery or something like that? And I go, did you did you watch Gossip Girl? She's like, no, I didn't, but I know people on the show. And I go, right. is that fucking Chase Crawford right there? Is that Nate Archibald? Uh -huh. Dude came in and sat down at the at the table. She goes, no, I know that guy. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, because I, I, I knew it didn't quite look at him. She's like, no, I know that guy. His name is James Morosini. Okay. And if you if if you Google him, I'm gonna type his name okay. in the uh in the chat. So y'all can Google him and y'all can see why I thought it was him. He okay. so he is technically still a spider because he's on TV. Uh, James Morosini. He had a he had a movie called I Love My Dad and he plays in a, in Sex Lives of College Girls. Oh, I know that guy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know what's so funny? He he, he was I, yeah, I get, exactly Nicole too. It makes sense that he was it like it's like yeah he would he would be at Clark Street Diner. He, and, and he like it was like he I could only see like kind of the profile of his face and his hair, and yeah. But I, I caught subtle glimpses of his face. I was like, "Damn, did Nate get a fucking nose job or something? Like, what's up with his <laughs> lips? Like, is that him? Like, yeah." And then and I know that I know that Nate be in the neighborhood too. Like, we probably gonna yeah. run into him eventually. But like, oh, yeah, like, we gonna see is that, that, that. Is that him? Like, I couldn't tell. I couldn't quite tell if it was him. And then she was like, yeah. "No, I know that guy. His name is James Morosini." <laughs> Damn, that's right, so that's why I said that's why that's I said why it, that's why it was like a flip like that. That make that makes sense. I, it makes sense why you were so excited too. But he kind of looks looking at him. He probably he looks like more like Nate, like the Nate we're watching on TV right now. And I'm that's not why. sure. What, yeah, yeah, because he's probably the age of uh, Nate when he was play, uh, playing that, or I don't know. But uh, the uh, uh, that's funny though. I do see that guy all the time. Or I see that guy and stuff all the time. Actually, I think I met that guy. Cause I uh, remember when we did um, our movie when It's a Party premiered at Cinequest. Uh -huh. There was this movie called Three Something that was also premiering the same time, and he's in that movie. Oh, okay. So I think I might have met him actually when we were out there, like at one of the parties or whatever. So yeah, he, he seemed cool. Oh, yeah, did you know that? Cool. Did you know that? 
here's something I just learned. Mm-hmm. Did you know that Chase Crawford's sister named Candace Crawford, and she's married to longtime Dallas Cowboys quarterback Tony Romo. Really? That's his yeah. and th- man, there's like a real connection between football players and hot celebrities. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on in this world? Um, what do you think of uh, all this Taylor Swift stuff? I mean, I know we talked about it already, but I can't put my finger... Like, sp- uh, going back to the celebrity conversation, like, I keep watching her. Like, I just don't know what it feels like to be someone who's being watched all the time. Like, it's like, she's it- in the in the, in the the booth. I can't tell. Like, she's so good at, like, every time the camera's on her, she looks so in herself. Excited. Like, I, yeah. yeah, excited. And it's like, I can't tell if she, like, knows she's being watched or she just, so, yes. like, figured out how to be comfortable. She ain't never stuffing space. a hot dog down her face. She ain't never yeah. got no nacho <laughs> cheese in the corner of her mouth. Like, like she, yeah, she at, never gets caught slipping, yeah. <laughs> me at a football game, like, I, them. first of all, the chairs be too small, so I'm going to be sitting there, stomach going to be <laughs> gutted up. I'm going to have nacho <laughs> cheese on my face. I'm going to be licking my fingers, fucking eating a chicken tender, <laughs> like looking crazy, yeah. dr- drinking a, a big-ass michelada or something like that. Like, it right. ain't going to be no pretty sight. Like, it's going to be me at a game. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so, she, But she's like always, everything is like so aligned with her. Yeah. And she, she knows that she's being watched all the time. And that's got to be a miserable existence. I don't know. I, I know. Maybe she Maybe she loves it. I'm only we and this is one thing that we have to do. We have to take accountability for when we say certain things like that. We have to go. That is a projection. Mm-hmm. I am projecting onto her that that is a miserable experience because I personally would be miserable with that experience. Sometimes people will send pictures to friends of mine that pictures pictures that people took of me. Like mm-hmm. Colin, our friend Colin McGurk sent me a picture one day that was of me at a bar that we was at mm-hmm. with. His friend being like, hey, ain't this your homeboy? Oh, wow. And, yeah, and it's like, why didn't you come up and say what's up to me, man? If you knew it was me. Yeah. Like, ah, that is it, a weird it, feeling. That, like, that, that, that big brother shit is, is fucking scary. So I am projecting on the Taylor Swift that this is a miserable thing because it will be miserable yeah. for me. And I think, I mean, people, she, yeah, she also what, been what famous for such a long time, too. Yeah. So yeah, she yeah. Might, maybe she figured out a way to deal with it, but. Yeah, she de- yeah, yeah. I definitely, I definitely like her. You know, like when I see her, I mean, it's, I don't, I'm not a fan of her music, but I, I can, I get a sense that she's a cool person. Yeah, let me, I'm let really me basing that on Ice Spice or what Ice Spice said and everything well, she Ice says Spice is God. Is she's is a God. cool person. <laughs> yeah, she's a cool person. She, she's a cool person, and like, I was just really glad how she just walked up to me when I came to the studio and just gave me a hug, and I was like, damn, that's tight. She gave me a hug. <laughs> she gave me a hug. Sp- I was like, I was like, uh. No, nah, I think I think one thing I, I here's one thing I gotta tell y'all people too about where I wanna be fame wise. I know you can probably look at me and go, Carl, shut up. You trying to be famous? And mm-hmm. the answer to that is no. I wanna be well respected for my work. And with that comes notoriety. And I'm fine with that notoriety. I love getting recognized in, in public. I love when people come up to me and say that they fuck with something that I do. I absolutely love that stuff. That is not that never bothers me. What does bother me is when people put me in a box, you know. Maybe maybe only mm. only be like, oh, I only know this person from this thing, so I'm going to reference that thing. And no, I'm a human being. I contain multitudes. I contain, I do a lot of stuff. Uh, so that mm. gets annoying. Like I posted a picture. I posted a picture of me and LeVar Burton. Uh, yeah. Side note, spoiler alert. This episode is not, I'm not going to talk about the spotters that I, because I got a lot of spotters for next episode. But we yeah, got yeah. two episodes of film today because we, we sorry that we're late. Uh, sorry for yeah, the wait. Yeah. Like sorry for the wait. Sorry, sorry that we're late, but I want y'all to know we always on time. Yeah. It's been a busy week. It's uh, been a real busy week. But uh, I, I posted that picture, and people were commenting on the picture, and they're you know doing references to characters that I did and stuff like that. And it goes, mm-hmm. uh, you know, I that's that's not it's not my favorite thing, but I'm glad that you like my work. So it's like it's, yeah. it's, it's not. But I don't need to be famous. I don't want to be Taylor Swift level famous. I don't. I want some of the yeah. perks of being famous. I want the the uh, <laughs> the little bit of clout that I, you know, at a restaurant, somebody goes, "Hey, that 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 couple over there sent you a drink because they love your show." Hey, that's great. Love that. Yeah. But <laughs> where the cameras are all on me and I can't eat my nachos and chicken fingers, I don't want that. I don't want that. I mean, yeah. I think. I mean, it's terrifying. But also, I think I think there's a lot of people. I mean, I, I don't know. I, 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 I think that we are headed. I think your friend is right in the sense that we're headed to a time where that won't be the case as much. 
like le- that level of fame is going to be hard mm-hmm. to achieve. But I do think uh, it won't go away. Like it will be, it'll be, you know, no, somebody, we always, we're always going to have somebody. But I think the internet thing is going to die too. Like I think people are seeing through it. I don't the most know. famous people in the world are going to be people who stuff themselves with very bad food, and we're going to watch them die online. Watch. That's what I think. <laughs> I know that's grim, and that's dark. And on that grim and dark note, let's talk some Gossip Girl. Uh, should we take a we'll break, be right too? Back. Yeah. yeah. We'll be right back. It's time to get down, ladies. It's time to get down. It's time to get down. First of all, it's time to get down with these DMs we got last weekend. First of all, I just want to say thank you to every Gossip Royalty fan who responded to our question about their wedding and whether they were nervous or not, because I've been going through some personal stuff, and I got to say, it was I found it very enlightening and very helpful. So let me just tell you, did you look at any of this, Carl? No. Any of this? So here's the deal. This was so interesting to me because I just, for some reason, I just figured everyone's just nervous on their wedding day. But I would say we got a lot of people who are married who listen to the podcast and a lot mm-hmm. of people submitted, uh, you know, responded to this question about were you nervous before you got married? And I would say 99.9% of the women that responded were not nervous at all before they got married and they're still married today. And this one girl said she was nervous she was she was just like what we what, um what, what Eleanor was talking about she was nervous before her first marriage and it ended and then she wasn't nervous in the second one and they've been happily married forever so the reason why i appreciate that because i think as you get older and you're still single you start shaming yourself for you like maybe there's something wrong with me why am i still single but i do think you should you know when you're going to commit to somebody for life you should know you know and i think yeah. these women are telling me that they all knew. They all knew. It wasn't like a, it's not like a, mm, maybe this could work or like, I hope, like, I hope this is work. I mean, I'm sure every relationship requires some level of faith because you don't know for sure. But the way they were talking was like, they were so confident in who they were marrying. And I just found that really reassuring and it let me feel like I'm not missing out because any person I didn't end up committing to, I wasn't sure about that person. So yeah. I think I think I don't I know I'm not looking for a fantasy out there of a fantasy of like a perfect woman, but I know I will be sure about it when it happens. So I just yeah. really appreciate everyone who's sent that message in because it was really vulnerable and really, you know, in, you know, you know, open. I appreciate how open they are with us. So thank you for that. Thank you for that. Thank you. Also, follow up questions to that. Has this podcast and me and Lamar made you question your marriage at all? <laughs> Making you think that you might want to be one of us. Let us know that. And uh, we're gonna talk you off the ledge. We'll talk. We'll say no, no, <laughs> no. But thank you, thank you. Uh, <laughs> we thank you. Oh, uh, let's talk about this episode because this shit was bananas. The backup Crazy Dan. Time. The backup yeah. Dan. The backup oh Dan is God. what it's called. They can't find Blair. They don't know where she is because she just dipped out with Dan. Dan is 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 driving her somewhere. We don't know where they at, but everybody yeah. Eleanor just wanna see her happy. Eleanor is asking Serena, like, damn, like, do you think do you think she's happy? And Serena's like, Yeah, yeah, yeah she's happy. Yeah, it gotta right? be, it gotta be. <laughs> yeah. But no one can yeah. find her. It the way she left though, it seemed like in the first an episode before they seemed so dramatic that I'm surprised no one noticed. But like, yeah, it seemed like they all just thought she was still around. Yeah. But uh she was she out. Was like, I'm going to the bathroom. So Serena find Serena find Louis, but he don't know where she at either. So Georgina is saying that this is the best thing to happen to Gossip Girl in years. <laughs> the situation. Yeah. Uh, this this whole Gossip Girl thing, we get some we get some questions answered in this episode about this whole thing. So that was good for yeah, me. Yeah, you were right. You were right, and I was wrong. I was like, <laughs> no, it ain't, it ain't nah. even that. Because we we still haven't like she is technically Gossip Girl right now. But we're we gonna, we gonna get to that. We're gonna get to that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so they on the loading dock and uh Nate talking to the real Charlie. Oh no, they all on there. They all being like, Did you see anything? Mm-hmm. And Charlie Rhodes, who's standing there, she's like, uh, oh, my van got a secret got a secret exit so I can get in and out. Yeah. And they're like, they they heard that she's going to the Empire. They're like, We need to ride, we need to ride to the Empire. Can you get right. us over there? Because they at they at the St. Regis or something like that. And they're like, We gotta get to the hotel empire. 
So they gonna so she gonna yeah because Chuck together. over here thinking that that Blair went there to go to, to confess go her him. love to him yeah yeah Ooh, I feel bad for Chuck Maddox but my yeah. man Nate my man also here's my question ladies this a new this another one a new one like the way Nate is pursuing Charlie like in TV it always looks so romantic but in real life isn't it like I mean he's basically stalking her right <laughs> like, yeah the way he's the way what, is that this episode or is that no that's that's next episode that's next episode it is. Yeah. But he was he definitely was, he was like trying a, to holler. He was doing it this time too. He really trying to holler at her. And she 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 throwing she playing to the left for sure. But we we yeah. mixing up two things. So we we finally uh Louis Louis's mom is on his neck. She had it, she had mm-hmm. his, she had his shit. And he fucked up because he talked too soon. He told Blair on the dance floor what the plan was. All he had to do was yeah. wait until it was over and then she would have been locked in. I know. Yeah. He was like, I had to rub it in her face. <laughs> yeah. He could he he couldn't he just couldn't leave well enough alone yet. So now uh, Gossip Girl is talking, but Georgina ain't on the computer. So I'm trying to figure out, okay, how does how is Gossip Girl talking right now, and Georgina ain't at her computer or her phone? Right. She don't know right. what's going on. So that that's a little bit of a tip right there too. But Blair want to go to Dominican Republic. She got the wedding dress on, and she's trying to get other clothes at the airport yeah. because they're like she's asking people for clothes and everything. Oh uh, yeah, looks yeah, crazy. Dan, she got she got, Dan just. Dragging her, I can't believe Dan is doing. It. I would have been like, "Man, I'm out of here." <laughs> like, yeah, the way she was you're, treating Dan is like, "Come on, man, get." And this is what Rufus said to him. Rufus was yeah. like, "Bro, don't you think she she's using you a little bit, bro? Like you got yeah." And he's like, like "Let it, me handle this. Let me handle this, Dad." He treats that man so poorly, and Rufus yeah. don't have nothing but his best interest at heart. Yeah, it's a, it's a hard to watch sometimes. He's like, "Look, don't tell nobody. I know what the hell I'm doing." He's like, you sure about that? Also, don't be telling me what to do. I'm finna tell her yeah. mom. I got her mom in another room. <laughs> yeah, I'm finna tell. I'm finna tell her ass. I don't right like. Now. I feel like in situations like snitching is okay when it's like someone's parent, when it's like a parent and another parent's looking for their kid. Yeah, I, I'd be mad as hell if I was looking for my kid and and somebody like say I was looking for my son and you knew where my son was and you didn't tell me. <laughs> I, mean, like, I know your son. Like, <laughs> Lamar, you know I know my son, son is. <laughs> where is I he? I know your son is and he's in real danger. <laughs> but I can't tell you because he asked. Me. <laughs> yeah, he asked me not to. <laughs> yeah, your son um, is joining a gang right now. Your son is getting uh, damn in a gang. He, he's about to but he, he, he felt he couldn't go to you. He he came to me with that stuff. But, yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I figure. Uh, yeah, but Eleanor, man, I feel bad for her. Her her daughter don't trust her for nothing. I feel and also bad, Louis' mom, her fault. Louis mom is there. Louis' mom is just like. She fine he's, as hell. Like, <laughs> <laughs> she there. She she's stirring up. She's stirring up junk because they get back to the yeah. crib and they all you know trying to get some get the wine popping and he she she thinks yeah. that Eleanor knows but Eleanor really don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but they they whole and they got this dowry shit which is crazy. I you know, did this at the scene where she like called it out because eventually she just like she's like what the fuck's going on? Well, we you skipped a couple things. Dowry. Blair can't get on the plane because she don't have her passport and shit like that. So they gotta. They got, they trying to get the passport, and mm-hmm. Philip text uh, Georgina about Dorota. So Georgina finna go shake down Dorota while Dorota's looking for the passport. Yeah. So Georgina, I still don't understand her main goal. I think it's like I know she's just trying to get tea for Gossip Girl, but it feels like too much. It feels like too much is going on. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I think she just doesn't like Blair. I think she's still mad at Blair for sending her to the fucking Europe or wherever the hell they went. But you remember? Did you remember when she when she got when she got with Dorota and she was like, uh, "Remember your husband sent me packing to Russia." Yeah, yeah. What was that? Was that about Vanya? I think that was. A, I think that was the same situation. I think. I think Vanya was the one who who hooked them up with those people. No, I don't oh, okay. know. Hold up. Wait, no, I'm tripping. Because there, there was two things, one where she went to Russia and then one where she went to like a church camp or she went to like, they sent her up to like uh, army school or something. Yeah. But I think that I was a different situation. Vanya was the one that sent her to Eastern Europe or whatever. Yeah, I think Vanya, I think Vanya was like, I think when Blair did it, when Blair did it the second time, I think Vanya it was the connect. He probably had some people out there. So that's interesting. She's, so Vanya is Russian, huh? Interesting. Uh, yeah, yeah. Vanya is Russian. Now we know. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, 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 don't, I think, I think Georgina's thing is like she's basically like, uh, I think she wants to take over Gossip Girl. I think, I think she likes it, or she's trying to be. A, I think she just wants to be a part of shit. But she ain't got nothing to, going on. But she also just doesn't like everybody. But yeah, she, it's, but it's she like, wants to be. A, she wants to be a part of their shit. So, Nate. 
uh, catches the real Charlie. Like he at the he at the house with the real Charlie Rhodes, and he catches mm-hmm. her on the phone with her mom, being like, "Oh, I'm cool. I'm in I'm in uh, I'm in New York, and the snow is going crazy. I mean, I'm in I'm in Michigan, and the snow is going crazy." And yeah. he's like, "This motherfucker lying." So then he was like, "Actually, you know what? Uh, I, I'm, yeah. I'm tired. So so you should go." And Dude, that's so, that's the name I like. That's that's yeah. how I want to start being. I see you see something like that. You see something, you, you get out of there. It ain't even worth it. It ain't even worth yeah. it, player. Because he's been burned so many times by liars and cheats. And uh, and he's like, I'm not even going to get in. Th- I'm not even going to fuck with that. Yeah. It's just funny how she didn't even notice that that's what it was. <laughs> it, was like, it was so obvious. It's like She's like, oh, did you hear me lying just now? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, was like, it was such an obvious <laughs> lie. It was ridiculous. Oh, wow. Did you hear me lying just now? I was just lying on the phone. <laughs> Uh, yeah, <laughs> so they go to the press while while Blair's at the airport. They uh, Louie and the mom go to the press, and they like they gonna find her now. So now she looks crazy. If she mm-hmm. if she dip out on the wedding, she looks crazy. So like, right. cause cause Dan was like, why can't you just say like you didn't want to do it, and and they can they gonna look bad? And like nah, because they went to the press. I'm gonna look crazy. I'm gonna like the runaway bride. Then everybody start crying around him taking pictures and shit because they yeah. all see that she's there. So they did. They they succeeded in making her look nuts. So they had to leave. So they went to go get a hotel. And so yeah. they get uh where are we at? Where are we where am I at? Where am I at? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So Dan and Blair get back to the ho- they get to the hotel and Dan is like, you know, trying to pop a beer open and Blair is just fucking me and mean to him and shit. She being mean as hell to him. Yeah. He's like, can you just be like I've been chasing you around? Like, can you just be nice yeah. with me for a second? Can you just be cool with me for a second? God damn it. Yeah. Like, why is you acting like this? Why are you acting so mean to me? She's like, I'm not mean, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, I know he's like, don't be, and don't yell at me on my wedding day. I'm like, Yeah. I mean, she's like like losing her shit. But also Dan yeah. is like has every right to be upset. He has every but, right yeah. to be upset. And I know that he's that he's upset with her because he like her and he wanna like he's like, I've been doing all this shit for you and you're making me look stupid. But yeah. you're making yourself look stupid, Danny boy. Danny yeah, boy, you're making yourself like, look stupid. But it is crazy, like she really ain't got nobody. <laughs> no. Serena Serena's so selfish. That's what I feel like she don't what Blair not realizing about Dan is like Dan is showing her how bad of a friend Serena is. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Basically. Oh, we're gonna get to that. Cause the crew shows yeah. up at the hotel. Georgina snaps yeah. a picture of all in together. Says Serena posted a video. Blair and Serena get into a fight over the video because Serena does take accountability for the video. Yeah, now, we got a little bit of a, another a D story in here, real quick. I, that we got to do. It, it's important. Charlotte Rose, the real Charlotte Rose, Lola. She shows up to deliver flowers mm-hmm. to the house. Yeah, and Lily remembers her like, "Yo, Charlotte Rose." Like, yeah, and, yeah. Sure. Rufus came over. He was like, "Yeah, what's up, girl? We was looking. You got the same name as my uh, <laughs> as my niece. We've yeah, been looking for her." <laughs> Remember we was oh, looking for Anissa? She's like, yeah, yeah, I remember that. So we gonna get it. So we gonna get funny. into that too. Don't say, don't say nothing. Uh, so the crew, they fighting, and Serena does her thing because she's jealous. So she, she basically is like, yeah, I may have ruined your wedding, but you ran off with Dan. It's like that ain't yeah. the same thing. This woman has got to be the. This woman has got to be the biggest villain in television history, bro. Yeah, I could not believe it. I'm like, oh my god. First of all, he ain't even. They not even to get. She didn't even. I mean, in this moment, Blair's like, "What the fuck?" She, she even was like, "That shit was funny though." When she was like, uh, "When Dan, Dan had me cracking up though." When he was getting all mad because uh, Serena was like, "Wait, why didn't you tell us you was with Blair?" And she was like, "Blair, Blair told me not to tell anyone." And he's like, "You could, you could have told Serena." And he's like, uh, "You told me not to tell anyone." Yeah, <laughs> it, was like, it was so bad. And then, uh, but if you, but even in that moment, Serena should have realized like, oh. Like she wasn't trying to steal this cat from her. He, like he's yeah. like she don't give a shit. She was just like someone help. I just need someone to help me. But uh, yeah. But then again, Serena can only see things through how it affects through her, her lens. How it affects yeah. her. So the princess mm-hmm. shows up. Princess is like Blair. It's time to be going. Louie in the car. It's time yeah. to get down, ladies. And she was like, uh, you know, she she that that lady had that evil look on her face. She should have. T- yeah. She should have. Uh, they should have put Serena. They should have like. Put Serena like like make Serena real drunk or something like that, and put her in a wedding dress mm-hmm. and sent her to go live with Louis for the year. Like, wait a minute, <laughs> <laughs> I know because she man. was threatening that the dowry shit where she's like, we gon' if you don't do this, you gon' your mom is gonna have to lose her whole company. <laughs> That's crazy, dog. That yeah, like, how much was in that dowry? God, that had to be like a hundred million dollars or something. It had yeah, to be something crazy, lot, even yeah. even more than that. But uh, Chuck says he'll pay the diary. The dowry. But yeah. she says, nah, I'm going to handle would you, it on Would my you own. do that? Would you pay the dowry? Hell no. Chuck? <laughs> I'd be like, you're going to let your love of your life go live with this dude? You can go sit down for a year. 
know? <laughs> take your time. Like, take your time on the chin. It's very like she going to jail. She's like, yeah. I'll wait for you. It's like, I'll wait for you. It's going to be just one year, you know? Yeah. Take your time. Right take your time. Take your time. Do your time. Stand ten toes down and, take, and do your time. I That's can't believe Louis is still in the show. Like I thought, for some reason, I thought he would be gone by now. <laughs> I thought he would be <laughs> gone too. This, and and it's, look, it's looking like he's gonna be arc. there for a while. Yeah. So Blair goes to Dan with a, with a heart in her hand, and she says, "I apologize. I apologize yeah. for doing you like I did you." Uh, yeah. And uh, that was kind of kind of refreshing, but annoying at the same time. Like. I want them to be together. Yeah. I don't want her to be. I don't want him and Serena to be together. I, I want them. Yeah, to be it's it's so tough. I I think like uh, they they kind of need each other, you know. But I think, uh, but I got to You know, Dan is really sitting on his hands over here. Like, yeah. <laughs> like like Blair has yeah. no idea. <laughs> no like, idea. It's like it's like as much as I want to be annoyed at Blair. I mean, at Dan, at, at at Blair, I'm like. Dan, she has no idea how Dan feels about her. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, yeah. she's like, why is, why are you being so weird? <laughs> like, I thought you like when we shit on each other. It's like, well, I don't like <laughs> yeah. it now because it hurts. I don't like hurts it now. My feelings. Hurt, it, hurt, it hurt my feelings now. <laughs> now I'm sad about it. Yeah. So Nate goes back to the real Charlie Rose, but she playing him again. She's like, I can't, I can't deal with you. I don't want to be a part of this world. So Slam that's what I was talking it. about before yeah. with the early conversations. Like, oh yeah, this idea that you don't want to be a part of this world, like you think you better than it. By calling it out, and I just think like nobody is better than it. Nobody, everybody, nobody's better than the group. It. It's like the Kardashian thing. It's like everyone loves to make fun of the Kardashians, but like every time I see that bus that drives by in LA with all their faces, I always look mm-hmm. at it every time. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm look like, there's Kim, I, and I try to figure out the name: Kim, Chloe, Kylie, <laughs> Kaylee. <laughs> I look like, at it and I blow. It's five a beautiful a- advertisement. <laughs> it's like it just like it's like siren. They're like the sirens of like modern Hollywood. But it's like, yeah. yeah, as much as I uh, could care less about who they are, it's like we're still interested in it and who they are. Everyone, no, people just don't want to be honest about shit, you know? I think yeah. we just need to start being honest about who we are and what we are, and that is... Exactly. Celebrity trash. obsessed, pieces of shit. Uh, <laughs> Blair decides that she going to go, you know, she going to take her time on the chin, 10 toes down, she going to do her time. Yeah. She did the crime, now she got to do the time. Mm-hmm. And she walk out. Louis might as well have had her in handcuffs, putting her in the back seat. I know put the her, way. Put her head in. <laughs> yeah, he put her head like from the back of the head, like get your yeah, ass yeah, in there. Get that. your ass in the car. <laughs> oh my God, Louis, man, what happened to my man? He 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 don't. Went, but it was so funny though. It's like it's another situation where I'm like, I'm like, this man, you want to be the show? The show is so good. It's like it's such good writing because it's like I'm mad at Louis, but really this whole thing. It's happening because of what Blair did. <laughs> it's like yeah. Blair literally told somebody else she loved them like on his wedding day. It's like he has every it's like you're saying with the referee thing. Like it's like he had every right to do what he's doing. It's like he you you literally like uh betrayed him. He, she like she betrayed his trust like like several times while they were together. Violated. <laughs> Violated. Craziness. So, so at least he can we save learned, his image out of it. Yeah. So here's what we learned. We learned that. Gospel Girl abandoned her post after posting the accident. And that's when Georgina took it over. So we still don't know the true idea. Um, dinger! We still don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like, um, you see, so you you had it right. You figured out that wasn't Gossip Girl. You didn't, she didn't I been, don't she believe been Gossip Girl the whole time. I don't believe it. She couldn't have been Gossip Girl the whole time. She couldn't have been. Because yeah. she was away in Russia. She, she didn't know what they was doing. So she couldn't have been, but she took it over after uh, after the mm-hmm. accident because Gossip Girl actually felt bad for what she caused, and so yeah. So we don't know where now Gossip she Girl got is. it. She out here on hiatus. Where the real Gossip Girl shit. is, yeah. But but so it's yeah. Georgina that's been texting them. Like here's my so, question though: Does Gossip Girl know she's doing this? Like, is she not. just did she just hack it? Did she just like start posting shit? Because I don't I don't believe that Gossip Girl would approve of that. Because yeah, because that would mean that Georgina knows who Gossip Girl is, and she yeah. I don't think she does. Yeah, yeah. Fuck all yeah, that. She did. Fuck, fuck all Georgina. that shit. I'm sick of uh, yeah, man. I oh, and it's, and we also learned that Dan is the one who sent the video, which I can yeah. believe. And that's going. Yeah, that shit's gonna I, hit the fan. Yeah, I, I, you know, I, uh, I, I, yeah, I can't, I can't figure out why he did that, but I mean, I know why he did it, but yeah, Blair's gonna hate him when he, she finds out. <laughs> I don't believe <laughs> she's gonna be she's gonna be so fucking mad, but and he shouldn't do yeah. that. He's so these people are fucking terrible. 
they make ter- he like Dan should be listening to his father. I yeah. just go to Dan and be like, "Listen to your father, Rufus. <laughs> listen to your father when he's calling uh, for you. Listen to your father." Oh, so you also on the back to that D story real do. quick before we wrap up. The um, Lily calls Nate and is like, uh, like, because basically Charlie, I mean, uh, fucking Lola told Lily, like, man, I like this guy, but then he just kind of. Oh, wait, did we talk about this already? How she was what? like, oh, we talked about it. I was just saying how Lily called Nate. Oh, Lily called Nate, Nate. When, when Charlotte when Charlotte delivered the flowers. Yeah, She yeah, called and Nate, then, and that's when Nate yeah, came back. But then she was came, like. I don't want to yeah. be a part of your world or whatever. Which was like, yeah. I'm like, man, give him a, I mean, give him a second chance. Like, what's up? <laughs> part of they, your good, world. I think that's a, a good. I, I would love for like someone's mom to be like like a girl who I'm trying to holler at. I feel like that's the best type of recommendation you can have. Like someone, like say, someone was trying to holler at um, you were trying to holler at a girl, and that girl just randomly ran into you, like a adult woman, and who wasn't your mom. <laughs> it was like, yeah, and that person, yeah. and that person was just like, he's a good guy. <laughs> like, I'd be like, I'd be like, that's a that's a that's a that's a uh, sweet recommendation right there. Sweet uh, recommendation. All right, what do you, you, what do you give this episode? I, I, I give this one. This one was good. Uh, I'll give this like a, a three point nine nine, like like a little better, better above average. But I think I was still kind of like you know, you know, kind of feeling salty about. I didn't really like all the airport stuff, all the the airport chaos. I don't. Really, yeah. I'm not a fan of airport airport chaos on TV. <laughs> it felt it a little shot weird. It, oh, yeah, <laughs> it, it it always looks like a fake airport. Yeah, and it's funny because they had the real they had the real uh, what you call it. They had the real like jet blue. But yeah. it definitely looked it definitely looked like a fake airport. Yeah, yeah. And the way they were like, just like moving somebody, around freely. Like a, a conductor <laughs> comes out and goes, All aboard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, it's like it's like, how y'all get into the terminal that quick? Yes. <laughs> this flight's leaving now. Yeah, that something about it. So I'll give it three point nine 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 nine. All right, so that's XOXO. 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 All aboard. All aboard. What do you think? I'm gonna give it a I'm gonna give it a three point six two six. I didn't I didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. The underdogs mm-hmm. on top, and I'm gonna shine, homie, until my heart stop. Uh, so what is that? Three point six two six. A three point Mazda six two six. Six two six. The is. club where where Jada Pickett uh, killed Tupac. <laughs> well, that's club six six two. Oh, uh, thank yeah. you. But that's where she did kill him. Mate. Yeah. Uh, uh, so that's XOXO. 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 <laughs> I'm melting. Okay, let's get into this news because there is nothing going on in, in the news right now. All right, check it out. Uh, Gunplay, the rapper Gunplay, is going to jail. Uh, <laughs> Every one he, of our, our listeners' favorite rapper, Gunplay. Yeah. <laughs> he is a legendary rapper from uh, County of Dade. Uh, he, so he is in trouble real bad. He's not a. He seems like he's not a good guy, but uh, he's... Um, Violate his restraining order with his wife, and now he's going to jail. So my question is, who on our show should Gunplay date so he can get back on the right track? Because he needs he needs some good guidance. I think Gunplay should date. I think the only woman that can handle him is Georgina. Yeah, that'd be fun. That'd be a good time. I would actually watch that show. I'd watch that reality show or that like Love and Hip Hop. It'd be like Love and Hip Hop and. Ooh, what if they did a reality show that was love and hip hop mixed with, or it was like hip hop people? Don't tell them. With, don't tell your idea. Don't tell your idea. To oh, listen. they gonna take it? Ain't nobody gonna take, take it. it. I dare you to take my idea and see if I catch me in these streets. <laughs> Had a good conversation with Sheila Ducksworth today. I gotta, I gotta cut this <laughs> stuff out. Okay. Uh, <laughs> next thing on the news, the DOJ says that Ivanka Trump is gonna be forced to testify against Donald Trump. And let me tell y'all something. I know, Carl, you think Trump is not going to get arrested. I've been sticking by this, and I want y'all to mark my words. This man is going to jail. I'm telling you, I don't care what uh, what he, what election he's doing, whatever. He wins the primary, whatever. This man is going to jail. People are flipping on him left and right. But uh, his uh, Ivanka is, Ivanka is gonna, might have to testify. So uh, who else from our show should testify against Trump? Uh, I think, I think... Uh... Lily, I think I bet you Lily knows him. Yeah, I bet Lily you they kicked him back him. in the day. 
Yeah. Did you see the episode? We talked about the episode where, where Ivanka and uh, Jared were on the show, right? Back in the day. Yeah, yeah. We yeah, talked yeah. About that so, yeah, they homies. They know each other. We've been, we've been doing this for a long time. I know. That felt like years, ages ago. Yeah, so that's the news right there. You know, I, I want everybody to stay safe. You know what I mean? Love and support to everybody, you know, who's suffering right now in the Middle East. And I uh, I, I want you to know we all love all of y'all. Uh, what? Uh, anything else you want to add, Carl? Nah, man. We back at you again real soon. And there's real a lot soon. to talk about. We're sorry for real making soon. y'all wait for this episode. Sorry for the wait. Sorry for the wait. We had... We getting back busy. You know, work is the strike. The strike is over, y'all. The, the strike, strike is over, ended. and we getting a little bit back busy. Uh, but so we ain't gonna we, give uh, up on y'all. We ain't gonna give up on you. Don't give I up. I don't on believe. It. Yeah, we just had a, we just had a spontaneous where, where none of our none of our schedules lined up, but now we back at it. We back in that ass. So uh, from all of us here at Gossip XOXO Gossip Kings, we like to wish you a happy Halloween. This, this Halloween. Happy Halloween, y'all. Right, we'll goodbye. see you next week. That Bye. was a headgum podcast.